Pisces, welcome to universe and yes, I talk slow, I shuffle slow, but I do hope you tap your energy with mine, like, share, subscribe, represent your tribe in the comment section down below. This is gonna be your read reading for February 2021 and I would like to greet all of you a happy happy birthday sending you all my light and love and I wish you a beautiful year ahead of you Pisces let's begin with your reading angel spirits and guides wow power messages for Pisces angel spirits and guides messages for Pisces please Messages for Pisces, please, angel spirits and guides. Please allow me to see clearly messages for Pisces. Please allow me to see clearly messages for Pisces. Angel spirits and guides. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. I am really, really happy and I appreciate it a lot. Um, for those who trust me and who subscribe to my channel and for those who still want to subscribe thank you so much in advance and I hope whatever energy you are giving to me it will come back to you in tenfold thank you all so much I really appreciate it and happy birthday again Pisces to find the right card wow you have foundation and achievements foundation and achievements it's the four of wands energy so if you have wished for something I feel like the universe is telling you that you will get it you will you know it's like if you had been in a stormy situation in the past I feel like the rainbow will come out and this is opening a um, a door for you to finally celebrate your achievements or build a strong foundation but you could be dealing with another Pisces this is your card it requires a lot of sacrifice it requires a lot of understanding it feels like you should not be biased on your judgment you should think things thoroughly and weigh things out that's why what, what I feel like oh my goodness gracious destiny this is the wheel of fortune in the traditional tarot look at how beautiful your cards are pisces you will really celebrate this you have it, it feels like whatever this is that you are building here you know for some of you it could have already happened for some it will still happen but whatever this is for you it feels like you will really have this because this is what the universe has for you it is for you and only you because your card is here and it's just basically your destiny and look at this guys I really want to show this to you I would also like to apologize if you hear a lot of noises there are you know some major construction going on here around the neighborhood and the dog is barking <laughs> so I apologize but look at this there's a rainbow here guys and there is also the same rainbow here right can you see that the rainy season is over that is what i feel like the rainy season is over you know i feel like getting this card so i will place that here but that was at the bottom of the deck tell me more about 
what is in store for Pisces, please. Angel spirits and guides. Spiritual strength. This is kind of like the um, Nine of Wands in the tradi traditional tarot. And it feels to me that you need a lot of you know meditation manifestation prayers before this could even come your way and i really feel in my heart that it's like you are ascending to your higher vibrational self because you stepped in this hanged man energy here that is what i'm feeling and also because this is the nine of wands it speaks loud and clear that you have been through a lot you have had your fair share of battle scars and it just um takes one more wand like one more sacrifice it could be or one more sort of test that the universe will give you and then boom you will have this that's that's what it feels like to me because you look at this the five of swords conflict and defeat it feels like you know because you've had this um rainy season the one i told you earlier this rainy season it feels like during those rainy season you felt like you were defeated in some way and that you know you could be feeling this way that you are envious of others achievements and I'm not saying that in the negative way but I am feeling like you see because look at this man and there are no genders in tarot of course but he is looking somewhere else it's like he is not focused on his self and I feel like you see others that they are basically blooming they are you know achieving all these things in life and you're like when will my ship when will my ship come in when will my ship come in i feel so defeated it feels like fate is not on my favor but look at this conflict and defeat deception and envy but you will really rejoice in celebration in the end after this phase of defeat after this phase of being you know um not confident about yourself probably on the way you look probably on your achievements probably on your unattained goals in the end with the right amount of sacrifice and you just need to pass one last test could be literal okay like maybe board exams test or maybe like you know test in your studies test for a promotion it feels like you need one last wand to hurdle and then this is it you will rejoice and celebrate your achievements in the end but now you have to have this sacrifice you have to be confident about yourself and stop looking at what others have because that is their destiny you have your own um abundance is basically our birthright and what um things are for others may not be for you but the good side of it is that what you will have others will also not have you know what i'm trying to say so i love this okay i love this don't forget to pray to god ask that you will have the power because 
the power showed up, right? Ask that you will have the power and the strength because, because that is equivalent to the strength card. You have here, you could be dealing with another Pisces, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have here Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But yeah, that is really what, what I am feeling that you will emerge of this successfully as long as you surrender because the hangman also speaks on surrendering right okay let's see angel spirits and guides oh my goodness look at this i always always take um repeating cards as a double com confirmation look this is the nine of wands in the traditional tarot and look what's here the nine of wands it is really a confirmation double confirmation i tell you that you need to past one and look at this my goodness gracious seven of swords this deception and envy is the equivalent in this deck for the seven of swords seriously pisces there is really a sense here that you are you know looking at others achievements and you are asking yourself why why is not everything going my way but trust the universe and trust the divine spiritual strength i told you you need one last wand one last wand one last test and if you pass the test you will have this um foundation and achievements you will really celebrate it that's what i feel like look at this the three of cups three of cups is rejoice and celebration look at that one two three this is the three of cups in this deck and this is the three of cups in this deck seriously your your messages are just you know repeating you will really celebrate this in the end that is what i feel like pisces so don't give up okay you could be dealing with a taurus or a capricorn i saw their cards Poppin just for Pisces messages for Pisces nine of cups wish fulfillment and the seven of coins seven of coins is you know it feels like you have already planted the seeds but you don't see it growing and I think and I feel in my heart that it is really um, getting the best out of you because I feel like I'm also getting this competition kind of vibe so if you are competing for someone about a position and let's say they got it it feels like you are really like up in your head saying why because this also came out in the reverse position right like why why are they getting the things that i have worked on why maybe that is also the source of the seven of swords here and the deception and envy card here hmm. but let's see the fool you could be dealing with an Aquarius. let's see okay what advice do we have for Pisces? What advice do we have for Pisces? You have the Four of Swords in the reverse position and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is what I got. The Queen of Wands is also um, Leo energy, right? It is also Leo energy and it basically speaks on being a very passionate person a very driven person it feels like if they have like in the vision goals they really want to attain it because they have the heart for it it's like they want to pursue everything that their heart desires 
and I think that that is your advice. This card in um, upright position talks on isolating yourself and the moment I saw this card it it um, felt to me that you you have these set of skills or you have these potentials that you were keeping to yourself you know you are not out there in the world exploring um, possibilities to expand your potentials you are basically keeping your potentials to yourself but what this is telling is to get out of isolation and show what you are capable of show them that you are capable of this and I feel like um, when you show them that when you show them what you are capable of you know you stop isolating yourself um, it, I'm seeing this word stalking s-t-o-c-k-i-n-g you are just you know stalking your knowledge you are just stalking your skills you are not using it go ahead and use it use the power use the strength have the strength to you know be here you know and it feels to me that this is really a big sacrifice for you that is your advice okay don't forget about that and um, let's pull one card for Pisces before I let them go one card for the birthday person separation and the bottom of the deck is love yourself first you know romantically this could be literal to love yourself first but the moment I saw this what I got was that you know if you truly love yourself be confident about yourself this is also you know being confident in yourself and stop stop saying to yourself that you are not good enough you don't have this skill you don't have this knowledge you don't have this that 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 you have it you have it in you you just don't show it to the world that's why they are telling you to show it to the world you have it in you love yourself love yourself be confident about yourself and you have here separation but it feels to me that this separation is you know um pulling your energy out of something you know you are separating yourself from something that you really want or from someone you really want because you feel like you are not good enough and that's not true okay that's not true and i hope this resonates or this gave you clarity on your situation thank you talk to you soon take care because i care light and love